I don't understand companies sometimes because it feels like oh, we're getting to a point now where if you are some minority and you're already established with the brand, they, the, the white people just want to get rid of you. And that's just bad. <laughs> and I know I, I, I may make this a ser more serious issue than it maybe actually is, but I've seen this trend a while, right? I've seen it with a lot of different brands, but the one <laughs> that stood out to me is uh, apparently Applejacks now is categorized in that. And I'm sitting here like, are you kidding me? Like another brand trying to not even, not just simplify their logo, but get rid of like a um, racial profile, I guess. I don't, but I don't even know why. You know what I mean? It's like, and I, I know people who's got, people have many examples of this, but there's one example uh, in particular that I am kind of, kind of fed up over a little bit they removed uh cinnamon's uh jamaican hat and i'm <sighs> one first of all like that's his character he's a he's a jamaican like cinnamon thing right like that's literally his character so does that mean they're just gonna not have a jamaican character in the, in the commercials i don't know like and I, th this is what made me mad i uh, somebody sent it to me through my discord server and then this is the uh the portion of the article that they sent some present versions of cinnamon seen on the cereals box no longer has the iconic beanie and dreads likely due to concerns of racial stereotypes who's complaining i want to know who's complaining about this i've heard nobody in my life or my friends complain about oh cinnamon has a uh, beanie and dreads and that's offensive it's like who Maybe if you search on Twitter, which I haven't yet, so but Twitter kind of hates everybody and everything for some reason. So I don't know if you can't really, that's not really too credible of a source. But like, who's complaining about that? Like, who is complaining about that being a thing and then re them removing it because of racial stereotypes? Like, I want to know who's actually complaining about that because I know nobody in my life that has complained about it. Let me know. In the comments, if you've had anybody complain about, oh, I didn't like the cinnamon commercials because there was a Jamaican guy and that's racial stereotype. It's like, shut up. <laughs> Nobody thought that. Nobody thought that. And this this makes me mad because this reminds me of a time last year where they removed an episode of Community because they claimed they claimed that somebody did blackface, which was wrong, first of all. Obviously, you shouldn't do back blackface. That's a bad stereotype in general. But that wasn't even the problem. The problem is the actor didn't even do blackface. The whole point of the episode was they were doing like a Dungeons and Dragons type thing and everybody came in cosplay and somebody dressed up as like a dark elf. Well, because somebody doesn't understand Dungeons and Dragons, they thought it was blackface. But no, he was dressed up as like a dark elf with like dark bluish paint on his face, right? And so it's like, well, it was, it was it was really dark, but it wasn't, you could tell, if you watched the episode, you could tell it was in blackface. But people, so, somebody thought it was, and then it blew up into this huge thing, and now the episode is just removed from the show. And it makes me mad because that wasn't even the right context, first of all. And then second of all, it was just, like, annoying because, like, it was one of, like, the best episodes. Not because of that, but because of, like, the me the message of it which was actually really powerful. And I think it was one of like the best episodes, but it got removed. It makes me mad because, because you see this and, and like, that's one extreme example, but, and this isn't like as serious, but it's a trend that I keep seeing like uncle Ben's. I literally, I literally saw a commercial on TV last night when I was hanging out with Lauren and her family. I saw this commercial. We're like, Oh, we're simplifying the uncle Ben's logo. They literally showed them getting rid of Uncle Ben and like moving it over and it just being words. And I'm sitting here like, I literally said out loud, that makes me mad. <laughs> Aunt Jemima. Bye-bye, Aunt Jemima. No more, apparently. I just don't understand. Why? Land of Lakes Butter. They got to get rid of the Indian. I, why? <laughs> that was a staple for the company for like years. And that was iconic. And I would always remember, oh, that's the butter with like the Indian. That's really cool. Like that made them stood out. Right, that's the only butter brand I know. And now, since they got rid of it, it's like, oh, they're now there's just another butter brand, Uncle Ben's. Oh, that's just another rice brand now. Like, it was great for branding. Like, it helped them stand out. And now, since they're getting rid of that because of racial stereotypes, which honestly, who's complaining about it? 
I know nobody in my life that has complained about it, which is why I'm confused. And I know this group's going to be like, oh, companies are simplifying their logos, as Schlatt said. But to me, it feels weird when you have a black man. Let's be real. You have a black man on your rice box, right? And it's like, oh, that's really cool. It makes you stand out, right? And so people like to support that kind of stuff, right? But when you take that away, it takes away the personal connection, you know, with the brand. So now you're just another brand, you know? And like some people like to support those specifically. So now it's like harder for them to support it because they're like, oh, you know, even if it's not like a black owned business, like some people just like to buy that kind of stuff because it's like, I don't know, they feel like they're helping, which is nice. But at the same time, it's it's just like to me, I only see it as like white businessmen trying to get rid of uh, racial minorities because they claim that people are complaining when personally in my life. I don't know anybody who's complained about it. So maybe it's just my unique circle, but at the same time, I'm here like, who's actually saying that though? I feel like people are getting way too sensitive nowadays, which is kind of, which brings us to this whole thing of like, people are way too sensitive about comedy, about like racial stuff, about like literally everything. Me, I'm a chill kind of guy, you know, like I don't preach hate because that's not good. Like equality for all type deal which is important. <laughs> but how can you have equality for all when you're literally removing uh, minorities from like your symbols that have been a staple of your company for tens, hundreds of years? Well, not, maybe not hundreds, but like a lot of years, right? It just feels weird to me and it doesn't feel right. Weirdly enough, it just, it just seems like they're hiding the real reason for doing it, if that makes sense. Oh, we're simplifying our logo. Why? It doesn't need to be simplified. The thing with Uncle Ben's is all they did, and same with the butter thing, all they did was remove the the minority, the Indian, the, the black man from the logo. That's all they did. They didn't change the logo, the font, or anything. They just removed the thing. And to me, it feels weird, especially with the Land of Lakes butter, because the design was meant for like a character to sit right there and now it's just like a circle and like nothing's there and i'm like stop being so freaking sensitive everybody at everybody in the world stop being so freaking sensitive i swear it makes me mad you're starting to see it with comedy you're starting to it's the community is a comedy show you're seeing it with that it's like oh my gosh I understand that some things are for its time. I get it. But then other things, it's like, you're just completely wrong. Like that wasn't blackface in community and you knew that. So why are you, <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> it just makes me mad because when I see this trend, I don't think it's the right thing to do personally. I just feel weird about it. And it's not something that I necessarily support because to me, it feels like they're trying to erase some sort of history or some sort of like profile i don't even know like sometimes like i don't know anymore i don't know what to say but like and it's just, and the stupid thing it's just gonna keep getting worse at this point right we've already seen it with a bunch of examples here but it's funny because people remove stuff due to like racial stereotypes but it's ironic because if you remove stuff like that then you yourself become kind of racist. <laughs> Not like actually racist, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out a better word for that. I just haven't seen a good enough reason to change a logo that extremely. And yeah, I can, I can acknowledge that companies have been changing their logos for a while now. Everybody's doing it now. And like, I can, I understand that. But with these specifically, with the stupid Apple Jacks box, like why? <laughs> Are they not gonna make him Jamaican anymore? Because that's like, he's literally a Jamaican like cinnamon bar. Are they just gonna, oh, we can't do Jamaican characters anymore. It's like, who's getting offended over a, over a Jamaican cinnamon stick?